Shalom, Shalom. We got GMS Arkansas, GMS North Carolina, GMS Indianapolis, GMS Dallas. Shalom to all you Akin. You can go ahead, you can go ahead. No, you go ahead. We're just, we're just doing a documentary. We're just doing a documentary on Arkansas. Oh no. Shalom. I started. <laughs> yeah. Yahweh Bashim El Shah Bashim Rakakuraz Brakatam. Let's get it. <laughs> You got it, together. brother. You got it. You got it. You got it. Hey, aka Babylon, aka Egypt. You want to do all praise and honor glory to the heavenly Father and Son. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders, the GMS, and the well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Hey, we have guests here today. We have the Dallas Camp. Uh, we have GMS Dallas, GMS North Carolina 24, GMS Sin and Afghanistan. You know, and, and we, we come together in that unity of brotherly love to push this truth, man. That's right. Push this downfall of this wicked kingdom of America, man. Right. Uh, uh, Amos 9 and 18, got to do it. We're talking about being in the ministry. Shalom to all the Akim. Akim, This is Amos chapter 9, verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom. Mm -hmm. The eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom. What's the sinful kingdom? America, man. Right? And America, it, 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 they, they actually, they are adverse to the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh man. Right. In this covenant, man. You know? It tells you the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Well, who are the wicked? It's Esau, man. Right. The so-called white man that the Bible speaks of, man. Right. The earth is given unto them. Right? And they have they have brought wickedness. Go ahead, go ahead. Just, go ahead. Just. Uh, uh, the Maccabees, man, when they took over, wickedness multiplied in the earth, man. Go ahead. All right, got it. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. He said he's gonna destroy it from off the face of the earth, man. How's he gonna destroy it off the face of the earth, man? With, with what thermonuclear destruction? Right. He's going to destroy it by using uh, uh, riots, famine, and pestilence, man. Right? In martial law, it's, it's coming. That's how he's going to destroy this Three. He said, I destroy the house of Jacob, meaning the elect. We said the house of Jacob, he's talking about the elect men of the house of Jacob. Right. Because two-thirds, when you read in Zechariah's 13th chapter, two-thirds are going to be destroyed. Right. right? Hey, and then we're destroyed in Hebrew and Shammai to exterminate. To exterminate that. Right. When you exterminate something, you wipe it out. Right. So the Lord is getting ready to wipe out, wipe out the wickedness of two thirds of our people. That's right. And they're, they're going to come back in the kingdom. Man. Right. right. Okay. Yep. Which means Romans 11. Right. Go ahead, bro. Now, which means you have, have, have babies in the kingdom, man. You right. To bring the, to bring the nation back to the people. Right. Hey, well, look at how lost Jake is. With all the hell going on in the earth, they calling on Nipsey Hussle, man. Right. Uh -huh. right. They calling on Tupac still. They not calling on you. How about Shamal right. Shah, man? He's a celebrity, of so, the so-called celebrity in black. You know, yeah, they, they, they look at them as prophets. Right. Not the lawyers we see before. Right. That's right. right. That's right. That's right. These are your leaders right here. Right. Go ahead. This is um, Isaiah chapter 13, verse 9. Behold, the day of the Lord coming, mm -hmm. cruel. Both with wrath and fierce anger. He said it's cruel, man. Meaning, hey, how about you, y'all shy? Y'all think he's like a, a real uh, nice, soft talking, feminine person? The right. scripture tells you he was an austere man. He said that day is coming cruel. That day of what? Jacob's trouble, man. The Lord is about to unleash total chaos in this place, man. That's right. Let's go back to one if you want to. Let's I finish that. We'll go back there. One first, first. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 9. Behold, the day of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, coming. 
crew, both with wrath and fierce anger. Wrath, man, that's, hey, the Lord's anger is gonna be, we, we can't even fathom what the Lord's anger is gonna be in this day, man. Right. Fierce is wrath, man. People are gonna be dwelling, they're gonna be screaming, they're gonna be hollering every every corner you turn, man. And this is the day we wait for, man. That's right. Because we're gonna be like, yeah, we told you so, because, right. hey, we are here putting and prophesying, hey, to the best of our ability, the spirit of y'all about Shabbat Shabbat right, Shabbat, right, man. Right. Right. And we and the, and the men that are doing it, man, hey, we're thankful for this, man. Right. You know right. what I mean? Right. To lay the land desolate. To lay it desolate, man. That means it's totally gonna wipe it out. Because the brother just read it was gonna be destroyed, being exterminated. That land of America, man. Right. Go ahead. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. And the sinners gonna destroy it. Two thirds of our own people, man. Right. They not gonna get right. They can't get right. So that's their nickname. Can't get right. They ain't. Right. They ain't created they to get right. Come. It's cunt. They're not even created to get right like the brother Benjamin. So they're going to be exterminated, oh, eradicated, so. destroyed, made desolate, man. And y'all going to come back in the kingdom because it says in Romans 11, chapter 26, verse, all Israel is going to be saved. That's right. not on this side. Right. right. We're going to bring y'all back in the kingdom, man. Right. Go ahead. Did you want me to jump to one? Yeah, you can jump to one. Um, Isaiah, chapter, well, Isaiah chapter 13, verse 1. The burden of Babylon, mm -hmm. which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. Go ahead. Lift ye up a banner. Lift ye up a banner. What's the banner? The scriptures, man. This is what we lifted up. Go ahead. Upon the high mountain. Upon the high mountains. You go into mountains, it goes into governments, man. So we're out here on the highways and byways, which we have been commanded to do in the Proverbs, the first chapter, mm -hmm. right? To, to lift up our voices like a trumpet. Right. And show how people they're transgressing. That's so right. What did our people do, man? They look, they fan their hand, they want to do what they want to do, they want to go out their own counsel. When they don't want to go off the council of the heavenly father. That's right. This is your shield and this is your shield. Hey, Barack Adai Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Because he's telling them this is the true council. This is, mm -hmm. this is the, yeah. when you have an insurance company, it's the shield. <laughs> yeah, he right there. Right there he's right here, right there. he's there, he's everywhere. He's everywhere. <laughs> uh, like the issue is coming, shield and shelter. This is the real yeah, shield and man, shelter. Man, man. Right. <laughs> this is what we're buying into, right? Because what are you for? So you have an accident, right? They'll take care of it, right? So we're buying into this, these scriptures so the Lord will protect us in that day of that trouble, man. Right. You know? It's like exhort the voice unto them. Exhort the voice unto them, man. We're, we're fanning the hand at you people, man. We're telling you, man, that your your kingdom is at an end. That's the right. eon of your kingdom is finished, man. Right. right. Like the brothers say, you're looking at your new rulers, man, your new kings, man. That's right. right. You know? And Lord willing, we 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 be on them ships and we make it out of here, man. Right. Because we're doing we're fearing the Lord by coming out here doing this this wonderful work. That's right. right. Like we said, you read first Timothy uh third chapter. Go one y'all can that go ahead. It says um shake the hand. Uh-huh. That they may go into the gates of the nobles. And we're going into the gates of the nobles. Because right. in the ancient days, the gates were where the nobles hung out at. That's you right. came up, they, hey, what's, what's your name? Right. You might have to say your father, your name, Mine, your father's your name. Yep, and then yep. you might get tested to make right. sure you win the enemy. Right. So we're in the gates of, 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 of the uh, of wicked right now. We right. come out on the highways and byways. Right? right, 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 right. You know? And, and shaking the hand means like a, you yeah, telling somebody about telling themselves. Right, 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 right. Bringing right. forth abuse. Uh, uh, condemnation, right? That's what we bring it forth. We shake the hand of this nation, man. Right. right. Tell them, like, hey, man, y'all time is up because y'all been way past week. You, uh, uh, you, you, you put a, a different spirit in this earth with your laws and your decrees. Right. You know, hey, man, you thrive off murder. Murders is a money making thing for you, man. That's right. adverse to the ways of right. how I was shot. He even puts it in the games for the children. All God. of the games are shooting games and shit. God. It's Isaiah chapter 19, verse 16. And that day shall Egypt be like unto women. Mm -hmm. He's talking about Babylon. Babylon. And it shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hands of the yeah. Lord of hosts. And how the woman, a woman, like they say, is going to be like a woman. When anything go bad, or like anything, like lightning is striking right now, man. Well, I'm saying there's some woman right now. There's some woman right now, she's screaming right now. Yes, when yeah. they're lightning, they're screaming, man. Right. You know, so right. when, when society break down, that's what y'all gonna do. Y'all gonna scream, y'all gonna howl, you're gonna wail. That's right, right, that's right. And you're gonna be brought down low, man. Right, that's right. And we can't wait for that day, man. Right, right. You know, that's right, that's right. Because it's not enough fear of the Lord in this earth. Right. It's actually somebody can hold Hosea four and one for him. You know. <laughs>
Mordecai, and it says, which he shaketh over it, in the land of Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's talking about us who are down here, man. When it's talking about the land of Judah, that's synonymous for really Israel. Israel. All right? But as, it's, as it was written, the tenth of Judah shall be raised up first. And that had happened actually around the time of Yahushua when he preached with the twelve. But when you go, when, when you go to the common way that it takes place, we lost uh, pretty much an understanding of who was the people. And we were all brought together like right. Amos prophesied earlier right. in the book of, uh, in the book of uh, I'm sorry, Hosea. Right. Hosea right. the first chapter. Right. You know, so all of us are coming back together and the house of Judah is being a terror unto Egypt. Right. Because right. you really look at it, ain't nobody else out here telling, telling you who you are. Right. Telling, telling you pretty much the judgment that's going to take place. Right. We're the ones out here doing it. Right. And little do we know, uh, um, I say, I don't want to say little do we know, little do these people know, they might walk by and see us and ask who these guys are. But as we're going into the gates of the nobles, there's no ones that are out here that know who we are, right? right. You know, they got us blacklisted as terrorists. Okay, wow. if they killing people like Nipsey Hussle and Tupac and all that stuff. Dr. Stuff CB. They saying, they're waiting for us to come out here and really make, they're really waiting for something to happen out here, man. Be an example. When that spiritual power comes, these devils are going to lose their mind, man. Right. And they see so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans out here, what? Preaching the gospel, preaching the word. And they understand, oh, man, they're getting back to their Lord. Remember what was happening back in the time of Egypt? There was a reputation of the Lord that was sent after Egypt was destroyed, man. And that's what's going to happen all over again. Right. And they fear that. They show you in all their movies, man. That's you look right. at the movie, I would say, when you look at the X-Men, man, the X-Men are the men of the Lord, man. That's right. You see? That's right. It's, they, they see it manifested, so they're trying to cut it off at the past. But then by the time it, by, by the time the gift for the Heavenly Father is given, it's too late. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just like how uh, what's it, uh, Magneto, when they shot those missiles at Magneto and he turned them shits around, yeah, yep, yep. that type of power is coming to the earth, That's man, right. That's according right. to the scriptures. That's real talk. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 19, and I'm going to go back to verse 17. Right. And the land of Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. Mm -hmm. okay. We're going to be a terror unto them, man. Mm -hmm. A terror and a terror, man. We're going to be nightmares. Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, they, they dream about it now, man. Right. When they come by these camps, I guarantee you the Lord put dreams in their heads of them being in slavery under us, man. Right. It's Edomites everywhere waking up with nightmares of, of the end of the world. Man. That's right. Go That's ahead. Right. Con, it says, everyone that maketh mention thereof shall be afraid in himself. Because of the counsel of the Lord of hosts, mm. which he had determined against it. Con, the counsel that he had determined against you, man. Because he told you, hey, if you don't obey my law, statutes, and commandments, these things will surely happen unto you, man. That's right. And it'd be in death, what, famine, death, and destruction, man. He gave it to you, man. Plague of the mind. Yeah, plague of the mind, uh, 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 the body, consumption, all that, man. That's right. You know? Your woman against you. Hey, brother against brother, mm -hmm. you know? Your life gonna hang in doubt. You know what I mean? You will be brought in to serve other gods. Hey, you become man. Gentiles. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That's right. Go ahead. I had to one. Yeah, hit, hit it. Hit it. Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord. Ye children of Israel. Ye children of Israel, right? You 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 ten, you twelve tribes, man. Right? Whom your whom what? Your ancestors given this covenant right the covenant which you have not kept right you have not kept the covenant man and the laws of these covenants man right one of the laws being faith we read in Romans the right. third chapter right you right. haven't kept it at all man. right right they leave in the Bible yeah. it's a lot of it's a mad movement of Jake just saying the Bible is fake now you know there ain't no God right. for the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land the controversy you got strife and a quarrel with you man the Lord is mad at you, man. That's right. You know, he chose you to be his firstborn. He chose you to be the love, his love, his apple of his eye, man. And you, you basically shitting on your house, man. That's right. You know, that's right. You basically, that's what you're doing, man. He clothed you. He, he Like he said in Ezekiel 16, mm -hmm. put earrings in your ear, gave you the law. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's how you do me. Right. Yeah. When you go into that controversy as well, it goes to him building up the case. Yeah. You know, there is pretty much like like trial or case court law. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That controversy. Inquisition. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So he's building up that case. And everything, that's why the scriptures talk about them stacking their sins on top of sins. Because everything that we're even doing, the angels are recording it, and they're sending it back to the Lord. So you can imagine when it comes to the wicked, because when you read this here in Hosea, that's talking about, uh, that's talking about Jake, you know? But hey, as, as it's written pretty much in Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 7, the curses that befell upon us are going to are gonna befall among the heathen as well. Right. And it's also written in 2 Ezra as well. I can't remember exactly where it is. 
So pretty much as that case was built up against us, and we pretty much had to get the judgment that the Lord put on us played out, it's going to happen to the heathen sevenfold. Right. Start with you so-called white people, man. Right. You eat them much. Right. That's that controversy because what? You right. rebelled against the Lord because you wanted to put his laws His laws in your mouth. Right. All right? You read it in Psalm chapter 50, verse 16. It clearly talks about pretty much uh, what is not done to declare like statutes. All right? So just by how we got judged by this word because right. we rebelled, the same thing's going to happen to you because you put this covenant in your mouth. Right. All right? And you stuck up the field horribly. Okay? Because there is no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of the most high in the land. So there's no truth, man. Ain't no faith in this land. Man. Right. Ain't no faith. There's no knowledge. There's no discernment yep. of, of these scriptures, man. Other than the men that, that the Lord has put the spirit on to what? To uh, know this knowledge and the Christians. Right. right. You know? Hey, man. This thing has been going on since 69. Yeah, straight up. With, with, with our uh, apostle, uh, Baba Bibbins, man. Yep. And on down through, through the men that he taught and all the way to us right now, man. Right. You know? So it's men out here telling you the truth, man. They're giving you the discernment of these scriptures, man. Right. That's the beautiful thing about it when the Lord only, he's only dealing with a small amount. Like the brother said earlier, hey, he, he got to show his power. It's always with a small amount. Because if he gave it to everybody, y'all would think it was on, on y'all. It would be y'all did it y'all oh. said. Yeah. So that's the beautiful thing, man. With the spiritual power going to come to very few men, it's going to help destroy a lot. Y'all going to right. see that, man. You know? This is by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery. Mm -hmm. That's what America promotes. Right. America don't show up even no mercy anyway, man. That's why the Lord is going to come and judge this place. So it comes. Ain't no mercy being shown to the Israelites. Right, right. Getting shot in the hell down, man. Right. I mean, two thirds are wicked, man. But look how they get. And we know it's all through the spirit of the eye. Right. You know shot. But Esau still don't show our people mercy, man. Hell no. They don't show the men of the Lord no mercy. This out here preaching his word week in and week out. Right. He got this land by um, swearing, lying, stealing, and killing. Right. Murdering, actually. Right. It says, and committing adultery. That's all they promote on their songs. Yeah. Every yeah. artist promotes show. adultery. Yep. Every TV show. Yep. It says, they break out and blood touches blood. Mm, blood touches blood. They murderers, man. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that's act that that applies to Esau now, but that's speaking of Israel, because blood touches blood. They killing one another, mm -hmm. they lying, they committing adultery. Mm -hmm. So he got a controversy with the whole land because we're supposed to be the standard, basically. Yeah. We're supposed to show the whole other nations how to live. Mm -hmm. But look at what the other nations are following Jake in a day. Black culture, sagging your pants. You go to China, it's a mall by sagging his pants. Yeah. Why? Because you niggas are doing it. Mm -hmm. Kill any nigga that disrespects you. Right. But Esau cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's black culture for you. March, march and beg for justice when yeah. it's the devil. Right. But we gonna ride on our enemies. Right. You know what I'm saying? Look, Look Johnny got platinum seat in Houston. And, yeah. You know, they just do whatever we do, man. Yeah, what man. What are you saying? They watch TV. Right. Yeah. That's Jake, right. Jake will kill your mama, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, they do that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Tie up your grandma. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Mr. Baker, brother, when you talk about Esau, this is Isaiah 33 and 1. It said, Woe to thee that spoilers, and thou was not spoiled. And dealest treacherously, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. And thou shalt cease to spoil. There's no threat against so called white people like that, man. No. So he's spoiled, but when has he been spoiled? Right. Right. And he's really, he, he's the victim now. After all of this shit, he's the yeah. victim. So the, the, the Lord said, Woe unto thee that spoilest. And that was not spoiled. Right, right, right. You know, y'all got it. Right. New thing is in the Christian church, they're trying to say that when it's talking about Esau being spoiled and destroyed, they're saying that it already taken place during the uh, during the after, after the Babylonians destroyed us. They're trying to say that as we were destroyed by the Babylonians, Edomites were destroyed too. Now, man, and they're trying to say that's when that was fulfilled. Yeah. Well, they lying. Well, well, the Herodian, the Herodian yeah. dynasty were Edomites. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All you Christians, Esau taking out of y'all pockets too. Right. I was saying, like Christians, tax free. Spoil means to rob. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So they rob out the natives of everything. They rob um, Israel, their nationality. They stole everything, man. Yeah. Yeah. Remove the landmarks and everything, right, man. Right, right. And they, 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 they didn't say it was given to them. Right. They ain't done. And the biggest <laughs> thing they got was our people's mind. Right. Uh, yeah. You know? Is there more on that? Was it the end? No, there's some more. They said, uh, I said 33 and 1 again. Mm -hmm. Woe to thee that spoilers, and thou was not spoiled, and dealest treacherously, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. And thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled, and when thou makest 
uh, make an end to build treacherously, they should do it treacherously with thee. So when Esau, y'all finished, right, yeah. uh, like beating us down and chastising us, which Wearing the us Lord out. sent you to do, guess what's going to happen to you? We're going to turn around and do the same for you. Right? You are you that whooping stick for your house, Bob Shimmy outside right now. Right. On us, man, for being disobedient. Y'all are part of the, 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 the uh, uh, like the Lord said, I got a controversy against Israel. So y'all are just part of his, his, his way to get us back, man, right, right. now. Right. Like right. you said, when y'all get through spoiling us and chastening us, which the Lord sent you to do, right, then it's going to be on. Right. Like the brother did the live video with his title was, he's about to get stolen. Oh, yeah. You got to get stolen, on, man. You ain't going to even see it coming. Right. You're not going to even see it coming. You know, you got one. And it's happening. It's happening so perfect, the way the Lord is setting it up. Cause you can see he's he being judged. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, man. This is um, First Timothy chapter one, verse twelve. And I thank Hamashiach Yahushai, our Lord, who had enabled me, who had enabled me, right? Allowed you to work. That he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. See, the Lord counted Paul faithful and putting him in Timothy in the ministry, right? It's Timothy, right? Uh, yeah, it's Paul speaking. Yeah, it was Paul speaking. Paul speaking. Mm -hmm. So we are in the same boat, man. We got to be thankful to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that, that he gave us that discernment, right, to come into this ministry, man. Because this is a this is a life saving uh, yeah thing we're yeah. doing here, man. Right. Safest right. place to be right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, strong tower. That's right. Verse thirteen. Who was before a blasphemer? Who was a just like we were, right? Go ahead. A persecutor. A persecutor, right? It says an injurious. An injurious meaning, meaning uh, you go into that word. Hey, when Paul used to persecute the right. Christians, right. when you go, when you go look at the word injurious, like if you having a fight and you knock somebody down, you be talking to them while you beat them. You know, Paul probably took you. Bloody scum. Yeah. Kicking them in everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, you go into injurious, man. Yeah. We didn't been like that before, too, man. You know, yeah. go ahead. God. It says, but I obtained the mercy yeah. because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. See, we didn't, we wouldn't believe at that time. Right. But we didn't know that we was going to be part of a bigger thing. Right. So when the Lord cut that switch on, then we saw, we heard the truth and believed. Then, hey, we got to be thankful that he even, like, cut our switch on that we could right. be a part of this ministry. They hope that we endure to the end of this ministry, man. Right. But like I said, that protection is going to be, this is the protection. This is our shield and shelter, man. That's right. Because the rough days are coming. Mm -hmm. That time of Jacob's trouble, man. Done. You know? So, hey, go ahead. And the grace of our Lord was exceedingly abundant with faith and love. Abundant, and meaning more. It's, it's a lot of it, man. You know, the Lord has a lot of mercy for us now. Just think about it. Time of Noah, he only saved what? Eight really, seven, really, seven. he saved eight, but really, it was one dude. Yeah. The, the, this work got his son saved. There you go. And his women saved. So it really it's one. Noah. Yeah, you right. know what I mean? Right. right. So that's why we do this too now, man. Because we got children also, man. You know, we want them to make. You know, they. You know, they don't know what's happening, but through our works, they can be saved, mm -hmm. just like with Noah, man. That's right. That's right. It says, "In the and in the grace of our Lord was exceedingly abundant mm -hmm. in faith and love, which is in Hamashiach the mm -hmm. This is a faithful saying." And worthy of all exception, mm -hmm. that Yahweh Mashiach came to the world to save sinners, mm -hmm. of whom I am chief of Israel, man. Not everybody, man. Right. It was only for the nation of Israel, man. Mm -hmm. You know, we were them sinners before. It's beautiful that He cut that switch on, man. Right, we right, see right. brothers. Hey, it's it's, it's 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 like relieving to see another brother that's the same like mind as you. You know, because hey, it's a small number, man. Right. Two thirds, it's like shit, it's so many, man. Yeah. It's so many, man. It's real talk. And it's real depressing when you meet them and you talk to them. It is it's beautiful to be around brothers like Psalms 130. Right. Man. This right. is a blessing, man. That's right. right. That's the right. Lord hath prepared a table for me in the in the face of my enemies. Right. That's that oh, yeah. table where we're able to eat. That's right, you huh? know? That's right. Y'all got something? Yeah. Um, first Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57. But thanks be to Yahweh, which giveth us the victory. Through our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Mm -hmm. So therefore, my brethren, you talking about the men of the Lord, only the elect is gonna receive this word. Yeah, and then um, like love. you said, the elect gonna see it. And then that's the victory, him just giving us that that discernment, man. Mm -hmm. The first victory. The yeah. second victory when he come with the chariot right. and destroy Esau's land right. physically. Right. right. That's right. gonna be victory also, man. Right. You know, go ahead. Therefore, my brethren, be steadfast. Be steadfast, man. 
meaning what? Stay firm in this truth, man. Don't don't wait, don't don't uh waver and, and fall into those other doctors, man. Mm -hmm. Because all those other doctors are gonna get you killed, man. Right. You know, and that's what our people in Scientology, Egyptology, uh 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 Mormonism, Mormonism, Christianity, Christianity Islam, right? I mean, all that get you killed, man. Worshiping the woman, you know. <laughs> Yeah, that's a religion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's the one they hold a woman up. Right. Yeah. Right. Because you look at how Esau got Jake in this captivity, he really like sets traps for them to commit spiritual fornication. Mm -hmm. And then he says he's justified in destroying them because of their behavior. So he just sets all of these traps and Jake, he'll set up Tupac, he'll set up this person, that person. And these are their leaders. But really the whole time Jake is rebelling against the Lord and don't know it. Mm -hmm. And, and it becomes a culture. They live yeah. their lives according to those characters. Right, man. right, right. Mm -hmm. You got the Martin Luther King type. You got the uh, the, the, the Tupac type. Not you know man. what I'm saying? Now the, the homosexual and trans, uh, transgender is huge mm -hmm. amongst our people now. Right. Oh, you know yeah. They're the face the ones, of it. They being the ones that's being pushed as that, man. Yeah. As eight-year-olds, as eight-year-olds, right. they already getting you groomed. You know what I'm saying? They confuse you in the first place. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what, uh, we were talking about that earlier, how the first seven years... Oh yeah, they get you. Yeah, yeah, they it's, it's, get. That's what, what, what the schools get your child's and mind. And that's yeah. what I'm saying. But back in the day, it wasn't no pre-K and no kindergarten mm -hmm. and no head start and no none of that. Nah, you was at the crib learning under your family. You mm -hmm. know. That's the safest place for a child to be. Mm -hmm. You know. This is unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Mm -hmm. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Mm -hmm. So it's grace through your house shy. It's marriage, man. Through your house shy, man. You know, you know to the works that we're we're doing through all truth and sincerity, man. right? You know, we got we trying to obtain that kingdom, man. This this is you people, man. Hey, this is no joke we're doing, man. That's right, that's right. You scoffers out there, man. Hey, when it when it come time to it, when Esau run your uh when he run your uh subnet number through that computer. He gonna say when he run your port, your subnet number. He gonna say, "Hey, you was down with them too." You can't, you can't be, you can't be like, "Oh, we wasn't." No, you was watching them, so you gonna yeah. be a part of it too. Yeah, that's so right. why not be a part of it and come out here right. and real and truth and sincerity? It right. be bullshit. They right. Still get fucked up. And that's right. when the Lord is gonna show who's his man and who's not, right. because he ain't gonna defend everybody that's right. that right. call right. themselves an Israelite. Right. He gonna reward you according to your bullshit. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> and you're just not going to be protected. Yep. <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> you're going to drown. <laughs> yeah, as the precept of uh, victory, you know, this is the precept right here. It says, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh, will I give to eat of the head and manna. And when you go into that overcoming, that actually goes into conquer or against that victory. And that's only you're going to be given to particular men, 144,000 men. And what do they have to conquer? The flesh, these demons coming up against us, the hour of temptation, all that stuff that we talk about that's getting ready to happen, it's happening soon. But there's a gift that's going to be given to men that are able to overcome that, man. Right. You know, and that's why it's important for us to continue to pray and fast and hope that we're of that number, mm -hmm. you know? But it says, to him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna. The hidden manna, man. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the word, man. That's right. You know, go ahead. Gone. And I will give him a white stone. Mm -hmm. And in that stone, a new Woo! name written. A new name written that's going to be refreshed, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Back in the ancient days, when you deal with those stones, they gave you a white stone. Was it you were acquitted? You were yeah, good. You were good. You were, good. You were let go. If you get a, uh -huh. I think if you get a black heart, stone. Mm -hmm. That goes back to the ancient Roman court. If you get a white stone, you were acquitted. So John is basically using a slang or a term for something that was going on around that time that's, that he could equate our salvation with. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Because like we could say, it's going to be like touchdown when we get the kingdom. That, that's equating it to something that we've seen in our time. So he, saw the, he said the white stone, which represented basically you getting mercy. And the black stone is basically you through. You know what I'm saying? That's right. It says, which no man knoweth, say he that receiveth it. You know, and also um, another thing when you go into that the stone as well. You know, as the elder explained, the Roman the, the Roman terminology for it. Also, when you were were in the Olympics, when you were pretty much one of the contestants, um, pretty much if you won a race or whatever the case was, if you were a victor over it, you would receive a white stone written with your name on it as a trophy. Mm. You know, so we doing this um, this race right now, as Paul equated it, and for this victory or, or con us conquering it, we're gonna receive those new names which we have from the foundations of the earth, which we don't know right now. You know, but hey, we're gonna have that name that we had 
back there in the ancient, ancient, ancient world, if we were, hey, we were those men that were with your house shot creating of the Alahayim, we're going to have that name back. Right. You Woo! Know, the name that the Yahweh gave you. That's right. right. Imagine right. that. <laughs> your own book, your own history. Boy, man. The whole world will have to learn our history just like they force feed George Washington. Yep. Right. And all the, but right. the 144 under Yahweh and Yahweh shot being the top of that. Mm -hmm. You know, the head and King David, the head of the 144. That's right. They go all that, that literature, you're going to have to learn about all of those, man. It's going to be a must. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the heathen. Yeah, that's, that's right. Ancient carnation, man, that's fast. That's very, yeah. very bad. Yep. <laughs> Straight up. We received that name, like you said, before we were even here, man. Yep. So, hey, man, it's beautiful, man. Right. They just got refreshed. That's and right. we know that name, man. That's right. You know, That's right. everybody don't know that name, man. Right. You can give Jake that name five times in a row, and he'll mess it up six. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? I like the barbecue for fitness. That's why the most I keep telling Jake, no, nah, you're an Israelite. Don't take him forget it. I'm a nigga. No, nah, you're an Israelite. Right. The most I keep repeating itself over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got a quick here. This is St. Luke chapter 21, verse 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always. Watch, man. I think that's Gregorio, meaning pay close attention, right? Be attentive. Because right. things are happening, man. You got to be always got your head on a swivel, man. Mm -hmm. Looking for these prophecies, man. You know? Go ahead. Constantly pray, Constantly pray without pray. season. I mean, you, you most definitely got. If you ain't praying in the times that we're living in, something really wrong with you yeah. anyway, man. Right. You gotta be constantly praying to the Lord, man. Yeah, right. You're fighting demons every day. Those right. two thirds, people on your job. You know what I'm saying right. family members. Yeah. The demon trying to attack you. That's right. why you gotta constantly pray and watch, That's watch right. the news, right. watch what's going around in your surrounding neighborhoods. Right. Things of that nature. You gotta watch. Right. Yeah. 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 Praying is your go-to, man. Uh, yeah. Praying is your go-to. You know what I'm saying? If, pray, if praying is a problem for you, then you got some serious problems. Right. You, got a problem. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's what I said. What do you do when you're in a pinch? Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What are you doing? Right. That's what I'm saying. Spiritually. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you can punch a wall. You can whatever. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to prayer, when it comes to prayer, that's a, what else can you do? Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? When, when the demons messing with you in your sleep, when they messing with you at your desk, it's all the same thing. You resort yep. back to prayer. Mm -hmm. You see? And, and if you don't, they're going to win. Mm -hmm. hey, I'm going to get a definition for it. This is where it's circumspect. It says, careful to consider all circumstances and possible consequences. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. so, so you're thinking ahead. That's what I'm saying. Right. You're being prudent in the spirit. You're like, okay, so if I do this, then this can happen. Mm -hmm. Or this can happen. Or this could happen. Mm -hmm. But if I if, if, if I let the spirit deal, this could happen. Mm -hmm. Or this could happen. Or this could happen. And you can think all those things in a split second. Right. Yep. Being in the spirit all, at all times. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And what I mean at all times, I'm talking about at all times. I'm talking about on the highway. I'm talking about sitting in the red light. I'm talking work. about, I, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about at, at, in, at your, in your household with your kids at all times. Yep. You see, and the only way to do that is to continue to lean on this. Mm -hmm. You see, if you ain't got, if you ain't leaning on this, you ain't leaning on nothing, man. That's right. Like you said, they don't even think like if, if I don't lean on it, if I lean on it, I'll be safe. If I don't, I'll be destroyed. They don't even think like that. Right. They don't even think like that, man. <laughs> but that's how you should. That's that's right, that's that's, that's good thinking. Mm -hmm. Not not uh, I met this girl and her husband on the other side of the club. She wants you to go home and he'll be home in 30 minutes. Not that shit. Right. Nah. We know you can think like that right. and say, yeah, I might get killed. But no, nah, this is a uh, it's higher mm -hmm. spiritual than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah right. you gotta right. think like, hey, if I go right by these men and don't ask them what they're doing, right. what's going on, it's danger when you turn that corner, man. Mm -hmm. It could be dangerous for you, man. Right. You know? The fear of the Lord is important. It's right. right. It says that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things. This shall come to pass. All these, all the plagues that he wrote in the scriptures, man. This man. famine, this pestilence, these race riots, man. You know, thermonuclear destruction mm -hmm. being the main one. Uh, not uh, uh, having that, this, this mindful, being mindful of this so the Lord don't have you take the chip. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's heavy, man. You know, you want to be accountable to receive that victory, man. Some, some harsh things are coming, man. Uh, the scriptures say. Things that are coming that ain't never happened on the face of the earth, man. So yeah, you want you more definitely want to be a kind of worried to escape all of those things. That's family right. coming, a race riot is coming, the Gurga troops gonna kick in your door, martial law, right. the chip, all that is coming, man. Yeah, You're gonna yeah. be a kind of worthy, man. Yeah. All our righteousness is as filthy as fifty rags. That's right. That's right. Our righteousness come up, Lord Yahweh Shai anyway. The scripture right. said anyway, man. It says, um, and to stand before the Son of Man. 
And the Lord coming back angry, you know what I'm saying? He coming back playing, man. You want to be worthy to stand in his presence, man. That's right. And be counted worthy for him not to kill your ass, man. Isaiah 47, man. That's right. Free's going to be real, man. Man, because we know the Lord, man, we scared because he built the house of David back up. Because our people, I'm going to watch this, Haggai 1 and 2, thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, This people, the time is not come, the time that the Lord's house shall be built. And that's why Jake don't see that the men of the Lord, the time is now that the Lord's house is being built, which is the house of David. That's, right. that's why we're out here, because we know the times, man. That we're afraid he reaches those gaps back up, mm -hmm. and even running his wrath on this earth. That's right. right. The people, That's right. That's right. That's scary. Give me chills that I'm saying that, man. Nah. Yeah, I appreciate that. That's scary. Nah. It's uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and 11. Knowing therefore the care of the Lord, Ooh. we persuade men. Mm -hmm. But we are made manifest unto your right. house, right. and our trust yes, also yes. are made man yes. manifest in your uh, conscience. So basically, the, man the Lord is basically, basically threatening you, man. That's a lot. That's, those are threats. That's a threat. We are, so we scared by threats of the Lord and what He said He gonna do, man. Mm -hmm. We persuade men to the wrath of the Lord, man, with the terror of the Lord, because we know spiritually the terror of the Lord, because we're studying He revealed things to us, man. So we're asking the Most High, asking we're threatening you. That's right. You know. That's right. Did you have more on that? No, that's the list of I got a precept right here. This is the Book of Job, chapter five. Verse 19, because also within all that take all that taking place with us pretty much um, letting our people know what the Lord can do to you, mm -hmm. with us that are pretty much within within this thing, right. all right, we understand what the trust of the Lord does. Mm -hmm. And how when all that judgment takes place, hey, as the brother I read into went into earlier yeah, when he yeah. read in Luke, man, it's good to trust in the Lord because mm -hmm. we're gonna be able to eat. Well, all the plagues and everything is gonna touch these other people. Lord will we those men. Right. This, this is the book of Job, chapter 5, verse 19. He shall deliver thee in he, six troubles. He shall deliver thee, man. Those who what? Who pray and seek That's repentance. That's right. right? That's mm -hmm. right. Yea, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. Mm. Shall no evil destroy you, man. Right. Yeah. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death. Mm. And in war, from the power of the sword. Oh, oh, yeah. So what's going to happen in the seven? Thermonuclear destruction. Mm -hmm. That's, this is what we're trying to escape, brother. Because you're not going to be able to escape it. That's right. Because in, in Revelation 9, it tells you like 2 million missiles are going to be shot mm -hmm. on, 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 at America. That's How are right. you going to escape there? Where are you going to go? You, it, I mean, you're still bound to this place by gravity. So you're not going anywhere. Right. Man. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. <laughs> you're right. not going nowhere. Go ahead. Verse 21. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Mm. And when you go into that verse 21 being hid, that's also synonymous for us being taken into those chariots. Because you read it in Isaiah, the book of Isaiah chapter chapter 26, it talks about what us when we're uh, delivered up into those chariots and we just see the destruction come. It says we're gonna be hid with the Lord when you read it. It says the Lord had hid me from the destruction. All right, so that's the ultimate way of us being protected when those chariots come. Right. All right. And also, what did, read that again where it says about the uh, scourges. Con, con. That shall be hid from the scourges of the tongue. The scourges of the tongue. Accusations we're gonna yeah, go through. Right, 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 right. We're gonna go. We're gonna go through those slanders. Those, those basically uh, pers persecution and reproaches. Right. Mm -hmm. Go yeah, ahead. Your own family. That's right. Yeah. Straight up. Neither shall I be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Mm -hmm. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Mm -hmm. Right. We're gonna. You gonna laugh? What? Can you imagine that? <laughs> oh, I have people dying yeah. in the streets. Right. And we're gonna be right. like, I told you so. Right. Hey, you should have listened. Man, that's crazy thinking about that. That's man. an honor, man. Yeah. Man. That's an honor to finally yeah. be able to say, I told you so. Right. And you can see that being set up in the earth because people are feeling their measure of wickedness, man. Straight up. Right. Right. Straight like, up. Like people all around the world, they're earning their judgment. Yeah, that's so right. to finally be able to tell these people, like Noah, mm -hmm. that there was a point where he, when, that, when, he, when he got off that boat, you know what I'm saying? He was like, I told you. I told yep. him. Straight you up. know? And the same thing, we're basically building that ark. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know? That's right. <laughs> Ark, the house. Proverbs. <laughs> got a, oh. Go ahead, go ahead. You got more. A little more. It says that destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth, mm. but thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field Woo! and the beasts hey, of the I field. Look, the beasts of the earth, man, represents those other animals that's going to get out of the zoos, man. Yeah. Yeah. Un, them uh, <laughs> newly created creatures, man. Yeah, yeah, when we right. get in our people, man, yeah. and them animals are going to have a spirit on them to know that those are the men of the Lord, man. Oh, yeah. They're going to have that mark right. saying uh, they exempt from judgment. The right, war. Right. So them animals gonna look at the men of the Lord like, nah, right, and they go somewhere right, to eat right, ass right, 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 right. It's right. gonna get real right. out here, man. And in order for them to get Jake, the rest of them Jakes that die off, to get back to that order of being righteous and the animals not fucking with them, yep. is through dying and coming back right. through the loins of the elect. Right. <laughs> right. 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 So because they're gonna 
be born into the covenant, That's but it's right. through the elect. That's right. You right. know what I'm saying? That's so right. we got a lot coming if we those men. Come on. You know? There was a situation that happened last night on the way down here, man, going into those animals. Oh, yeah. And as we, he made, and the elder made the statement saying that animals are crying out, man. Right. We was riding down here, and there was a there was a, a, a boxer, an American bulldog, and it was an Edomite that owned it. And right we entered into the neighborhood, the dogs ran to our car and kept circling They circled around, around probably like eight, two, seven yeah. times. Uh, no, know. they kept, they circled yeah. around like... Man. Probably seven times they kept, they kept they going. Yeah. 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 Jericho. Jericho. Yeah. Yeah. And, and them animals, you looked at them animals' faces, man. They, they wasn't have listening no, to Esau no more. They, they weren't listening. <laughs> they didn't have no. no you can you can tell when a dog wants to bite you. Them they dogs, didn't want to fight. If you would have walked outside, them dogs would have won. Yeah, they didn't want to fight. Us, they were trying yeah. to tell us something. Yeah. 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 And that's that goes into Job twelve. Uh, uh, Save me yeah. my uh, Ask the animals. Ask the, and, and, yeah. Save me from my Somebody get that real quick. As soon as we touch down, man. So Joe 12 and 6, I believe. <laughs> Joe 12 and 6. Because if you look at the planet Earth right now, you could clearly see judgment is getting ready to happen. But you got to be spiritual. See, Christians ain't seeing the world being judged because their spiritual has been detached from them. They're too busy destroying it. Yeah, if you in the spirit, you clearly see judgment is being set up. So you look at the, 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 uh, the Lord's creation and how is it reacting in these times. Joe 12 and 6. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Yep. But ask now the beast. Yeah, I think five, I think six or seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You start six, seven, or five. Wherever you. Hey, yeah. Job chapter twelve, verse five. He that is ready to slip with his feet as a limp despiseth in the thought of him that is in at ease. Mm -hmm. The tabernacle of robbers prosper. Right, Esau. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead, because Esau is the end of the world. And before that happens, you're going to be seeing signs and, line, and, and wonders all around the world. Go ahead. They that provoke the Most High are secure. They're secure in this world, right? Go ahead. In, in whose hand the Most High bringeth abundantly. Uh-huh. It says, but ask now the beast, and they shall teach thee. The, the beast. Look at the animals in this current world. they clearly telling us something. Mm -hmm. They're dropping dead. Mm -hmm. they, they do all sorts of weird behavior. Yep. They're catching diseases. Yep. You got bears that are supposed to be hibernating, but the, the frequencies are so messed up that they're sleepwalking. They're supposed to be hibernating, Damn. but they're still walking. You got like the, so they're getting uh, hit by tractors and shit. Last month, I saw, I, saw the, I saw the beast going back north. So I was like, where well, comes good weather? Two days later, they going back that way, and it, 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 it was like 25 degrees. Right. So they all messed right. up, man. Right. We saw right. them yesterday. Remember right. at the blade? They, yeah. right. they were going in. A, they weren't going in a route. They were just going right. in a circle, like right. they were like confused. Right. Wow. That's why everything you see, you got to try to apply it spiritually. Mm -hmm. Anything that happened to you, try to figure out what, what is the Lord saying. Right. When you right. see some weird stuff an animal doing, think spiritual right. first. Mm -hmm. right. Right. You know, that, that's a, they're, they're soul. They're, they got yeah. spirits. So the, the, read that again. It says, um, verse 7, Job chapter 12, verse 7. But ask now the beast, and they shall teach thee, mm -hmm. and the fowls of the air, and they shall tell thee. Right. These things show you that he is. Mm -hmm. When you look at animals and creation and waterfalls and ecosystem, they, they basically prove that he is, Yahweh. Mm -hmm. right. There is a creator, bro. Yep. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. but, but, but you also look to those things to see when they start getting off of their course, what are they saying? Mm -hmm. And the weather is all weird. Right. It's man. stuff happening all over the earth, man. Yeah. You know? Snow that don't, snow that turn black. Yeah. Like you burn it. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, 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 that type of shit. Yeah. <laughs> and the earth is speaking to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's fighting back. Yeah, right, right. Natural yeah. disasters. Yeah, all these earthquakes. Yeah. Wars, rumors of wars, everything, man. It's right. all in here, man. Right, right. Everything, that, the, right. Whole, the whole shebang. Right, right. On verse 8, say that about the earth. Or speak to the earth, Woo! and this shall teach thee. <laughs> yeah. Yep. yep. And see, now that we're getting back into the spiritual exactly. man, exactly. Uh, getting aligned with Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, brothers are getting into the stones right. and getting into the nature and getting into the, the most high. That's him. Yep. See, we, we used to think that it was sissy like to be in the nature, mm -hmm. but that's manly. Yep. We should all know the roots and the earth and the stones. That's a part of our heritage, mm -hmm. man. <laughs> you know? <laughs> And the, and the fishes of the sea shall declare unto thee. And what are they telling you? Nigga, something wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So those dogs yeah. circling the car, they were like, nigga, help, save yeah, us yeah. from this nigga. Yeah. Yeah. He ain't right. 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 You know? You know what are you doing to them dogs, man? Hey, get that scripture, the creature groaning. Y'all got it, but 
What's that? Romans, the uh, eighth chapter? The yeah, whole yeah. creation grown it. Oh, okay. You know? Because everything is waiting for the Israelites. That's why everybody talking about the Israelites. Because right. the spirit is on, look, set these people back up so everything can breathe. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, I would say even the, uh, the, the scripture where it's talking about uh, trying to, uh, as long as they're in tune with their power, yeah. paraphrasing, as yeah. long as they're in tune with their power, mm -hmm. you can't have no advantage over it. Right, right, right. You see, even the heathen knew that. That's being established now. Yeah. That's being reestablished. Right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. This is Romans chapter 8, verse 22. For we know that the whole creation groaned. <laughs> the whole creation. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Think about up. that. Oh, hey, can man. somebody look up the word whole in that scripture? Or groan. Yeah. Yeah. Groan yeah. 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 is uh, right. Because look. To moan jointly. Right. right. To moan jointly. Woo! Yeah, everybody. And yeah. think about it. <laughs> the man who's cursed from the earth controls the earth. So the creation is, is fighting against the rulers, and the rulers is fighting against the creation. Right. Right. What type of shit is that? Yeah. Man. <laughs> the whole, the whole, the whole meaning all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Everyone, everything Ooh. of some type. Yeah. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. The whole it was everybody is jointly mourning. The mm -hmm. flowers. Yeah. yeah. The fir trees. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Hey, the fir trees shall rejoice. The fir trees shall rejoice. Yep. Yeah. 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 But 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 why? Yeah. Because yeah. the fir trees are being used as Christmas trees exactly. in this world. Exactly. <laughs> God, yeah. Cut down like crazy. Right. You know. Yeah. Yeah, everything that, on red jungle, you start getting out of power. Yeah, everything, matter. rabbits, the relationship every relationship between thing. you and something that you create, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. the relationship between you and that creation. Mm -hmm. The whole creation is sick, you know what I'm saying? Everything. One, you know, that, that one crazy. cancer. Right, yeah, right. That one cancer. Yep, yep. Romans chapter 8, verse 22, one more time. For we know that the, the whole creation groaning. Right. And travaileth in pain mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. under mm -hmm. until now. Until now, and, and then don't they say they're waiting on the manifestation of the sons of God? Yep. Keep going. It says, and not only yeah. they, the but ourselves Adam. also. Right. All, right. Man. All the way from the power Right. Of Adam. They're waiting on this. Like the whole earth really needs the Israelites in their right mind to be mm -hmm. back, put back in order. Man. See that? Man, that's <laughs> why them dogs were circling around that's that That's why them car, dogs were circling around that car like that. Woo! Woo! They were telling me what going to the yeah. was at the crib. You yep. know what he doing. Yep, yep. You know. yeah. yeah, we know. Yeah. <laughs> Man, bro. Yeah. It says, and not only they, but ourselves also, that have the first fruits of the Spirit. Let's go. Even we ourselves grown without ourselves, right. within ourselves. So right. Like we grown within ourselves. We even grown it. Yeah. Mm. You know? Waiting for the adoption. Woo! Yeah. That's right. Being adopted right. back, man. Yeah, right. Boy, y'all yeah, was shy. I, was, I got something real quick. Being put back to, to in the beginning. In the beginning. Yeah. 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 When you get when you get back to that, you good. Because we gonna have that divine nature. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Uh, this is uh, Second Ezra chapter uh, six, verse fifty-seven and fifty-eight. It says, "And now, O Lord, behold these heathen which have uh, which have ever." Being reputed as nothing have begun to lord over us and to devour us. It says, But we, thy people, whom thou hast called from thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, are given into their hands. Mm. If the world was made for our sakes, why do we not possess the, an inheritance in the world? Woo! How long shall this endure? You see, so it's going to get back to when, what the Lord intended it for us to have. You yep. know what I'm saying? Uh, the, the intentions of the Heavenly Father. Is Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 14. Mm -hmm. You see? Right. And the road back to that is taking place right here live on YouTube. Yeah, right, right, right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. But that's right. what I'm saying. That, uh, 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 Andrews was praying to go back to that glory of when the world was for us so right. we can enjoy it right. and right. have children in the state. Right. Wait, right. well, before you, how, what do you, how would I tell the Most High? Return me to the glory that I had with you from exactly. the beginning. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right. But to right. get that, he had to go through what he went through. Mm -hmm. Just like we have to go through Man. what we get through to get that back, uh, and it's worth it. You know, right. it's worth it. It's, it's, it's a it's a it's a hell of an investment. <laughs> but when it hits, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. 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 It's time yeah. to live. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know? and, and, and the fact and the fact that it's promised. Yeah. Right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You 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 hoping in a promise. Yep. Yeah. You see, Jake Jake want to believe in Esau's lies. Yeah, it ain't gonna happen. Yeah, how was promises. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Esau's lies look better than Yahweh's promises to these people, man. Right. And that's right. why they free Barabbas. Right, right. Yeah. Right. Just a little bit more. Think this nigga uh, gonna be fair? <laughs> you know? 
waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body. Mm -hmm. Hey, I looked up a uh, dog circling around objects. <laughs> Esau says when they circle around objects, they have a uh, uh, anxiety disorder, right? A cognitive, mm. uh, mental cognitive. They get uh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. that dude doing something to the dogs. Yeah. Yeah. When they yeah. got in that yeah. car, y'all were like, they saw the light. They saw the light. They saw the light. And they was like, they ran to it. They want to be saved, man. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And they was like, it's like I could have ran over it. They knew, like, if I would have kept moving, I could have hit them. Yeah. But. I stopped. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they were right in front of the tire. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and they kept everywhere we drove to. We drove down the street. They ran up. They were running fast. And, and, and it was two of them. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yep. It was two of them. Yeah. 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 So Joshua and Caleb. Joshua and Caleb. God. God. I got to you gotta find a spiritual enabler. Everything. If you can't find nothing, at least you look. If I stump my toe, <laughs> right, right. I'm trying to figure out what I did. That's some bullshit. To say, what is the Lord telling me? You gotta be like that, and that that'll that'll keep you from being proud. You know. Yeah, you know? As I say, at least you're looking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Even if don't, even if you come up empty, at least you look. Yeah. 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 Man, it's a, it's a precept to, uh, to that. What well, that was used to read. Yeah. Romans. Romans. No, it it's a precept to that. Romans eight twenty two. And when you read it, when you go into the beginning of the chapter, it says Jeremiah complaining of the wicked's prosperity. You know, so as Paul was saying, right. it's going to be in our groanings. Right. This is an example of Jeremiah groaning about yeah. the state of the earth. Yeah. So this is Jeremiah chapter twelve verse four. How long shall the land mourn and the herbs of every field wither? Right. For the wickedness of them that dwell therein. Hey, our forefathers were worried about the earth, man. Yeah. Jake ain't talking about the earth. Wow. Jake just now getting on Dr. Seavey. Mm -hmm. right. But Solomon told you in Wisdom of Solomon, the I believe the seventh chapter, that the study of the roots was very important. Mm -hmm. The Bible says he that abhorred the herbs, all right, he's unwise. Right. So okay. so the, the scripture's been telling you what all of these famous people who you uh, uh big put on these they, the scripture's been telling you that mm -hmm. yep mm -hmm. <laughs> right jake them just getting in a you can get you some black seed on the table and make you feel good. Yeah, we've been taking it. Yeah, we've been taking it. Right. We've been trying to tell right. you. Yeah, we've been trying to tell you. Yeah, we've been trying to tell you. Right, right. Uh -huh. But if it's associated with the Bible, it's not good information. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You see Jake at work with broccoli with hot dogs yeah. cut up in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bro, and you know that when you eat healthy in this world, people make you uncomfortable. Right. Yeah. Like, people, oh, yeah. what you got there? Oh, well, he eat healthy. He eats like a rabbit. Right. Yeah. Like, what, what's what's wrong with that? What's wrong with eating healthy? Again. That is. Yeah. Ask them how they feet feel it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ask them how they feet feel it. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, Continuation. Yeah. How's that blood pressure of yours? You good. <laughs> <laughs> Continuing on to Jeremiah 12 and 4. The beasts are consumed and the birds because they said he should not see our last thing. Mm. You know, so that really, when you think about that as well, that goes hand in hand with Matthew 24. Where it talks about pretty much the Lord has to shorten the days, or else no flesh shall be saved in that day, man. So the beasts are crying out, we crying out, all the, all, all the pieces of the earth are, oh, well, I should say, all the righteousness that's within the earth is crying out right now because right. the devil's ruling, man. Right. You know, you got these beasts that are really like, like for for example, we don't know what that Edomite was doing to those dogs or any other of these beasts that we see. We see there's whales that are getting beats to the shore, and when they go inside of the whales, they're finding tons of plastic sitting inside of the whale's stomach, man. Right. All right, that's because they throw in, like, it's, it's, it's literally trash compiled in the oceans the size of the, of the state of France, man. And that's a, that's a large magnitude of trash. And the fishes and the animals are eating this stuff up. You spray chemicals in the air. Right. It's birds right. in there that, that are eating that first hand before it gets to us. Well, think about how many, think about how many children are uh, adopted by people who torture them. Right, right. Straight and up. you'll see them at the ice you cream or Chuck E. Cheese. And they're smelling and playing, but really they're, 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 they're like, oh my God, you know, mm -hmm. is this right? Yeah. They all messed up because of what's happening. Yeah. So you got animals that are depressed, the, the bugs are all off course, the ecosystems fighting, you know? Right. And that's why you see all of these judgments going out is because ultimately the earth is, is, is rebelling against the, the rulers, man. That's right. You know? Uh, I got three seconds. Um, from verse 29, verse 2, because this is paradise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This was called Eden, mm -hmm. the pleasure of the Lord. Why? Why is the earth? Why? Why are we on the earth? Got with allergies? And the earth is fighting against you in this damn captivity, man. Right. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bears rule, the people mourn. Uh -huh. 
So who, who, who's the uh, read that again? This is Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Are people rejoicing now? No. Everywhere you go, people are complaining. Yeah. Complaining yeah. about bills, complaining about yeah. this, complaining about that. They always sick. That lets you know the righteous are not in, in rule, man. Right. Because if we were in rule, everything would, would flow right. in a smooth and continuous order, man. Everything is chaos that he saw in, in, in rulership. Under his rule, everybody got cancer, uh, heart conditions. Like uh, diabetes, they got all these ailments, man. You know? No, you good, you good. Well, man, y'all. Yeah. No, y'all good, y'all good, y'all good, y'all good. No, we ain't got no time. Oh, yeah, we ain't got no time. No, you good, man. It's all good. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. <laughs> and it's too bare rude. That's why you see all these people complaining. They're sick, they dying. They want to get a light. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Like, no, but see, that's only in a wicked rulership would that even be allowed anyway. Mm -hmm. You think in the kingdom of heaven people are going to have the option to destroy themselves? No, you're going to have to live this way. Exactly. And if you don't want to live this way, we're going to have spiritual art programs, as the scriptures talk about in Zechariah, mm -hmm. to where we can play here. No. Because all Israel is going to be righteous, man. No, ain't no, ain't going to be no such thing as a rebellious Israelite. You heathen are not a part of that covenant, so you're going to be forced to keep our ways. Man. You know? Right. Hey, but it's, it's more beneficial to you than this rulership. Mm -hmm. right. Shit. Here you eat grapes and drinking water that are killing you. At least under our kingdom, you 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 gonna be able to breathe uh, a clean air. Right. You won't be able to eat a rat like Moab here and eat rats. Right. Well, in our kingdom, no. That's you, you, eat, you think about eating a rat. We you gonna send the holy host over and some yeah, brothers yeah. gonna jump down. You know, big black men. Well, beers will come we'll down. What, what's going on over here? We'll yeah, see this, right. you know, yeah. We'll just send a rat to eat you. Yeah. Yeah. Straight <laughs> up. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. on food for God. Yeah. just send a rat to eat you. Right. Because the scriptures say they should not hurt or destroy my holy mountain. But who's to know the elect man can put spirits on them and do certain things to you people mm -hmm. in the kingdom? You know? <laughs> like you said, even in our kingdom, when you eat the fruit, we're going to be getting the benefits of it. Right. If you eat a grape, if a grape is supposed to have your breath smelling good for a year, is what it's gonna be. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Like now, shit, man, they kill us like the fluoride. Right. Right. You know, uh, it's just that's what it is. Pesticides, yeah, on. everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like remember the other day we was in the store, we had to see the grapes. Yeah. Shit, I took one and bit off that shit. It was so nasty because. And wash the motherfucker out first. You know what I mean? It's like you gotta wash it out and then it's still gonna be better. You gotta soak it. You gotta, you gotta soak it. Yeah. Soak it in uh, eleven point five pH water. And what they do is they put two female genes together to create a seedless grape. So it's basically faggot grapes. They're like man, man. goddamn yeah. fruit. Oh, man. Gracious, so this man is completely out of his mind, and he oh, must boy. be taken down. He's so We're confident. We're not ashamed to tell you that the so-called white man. His system is wicked, and none of you wicked ass people with your opinions are gonna detach us from what the truth of this Bible is talking about. Right? right. You know, we believe, man. Go ahead. Uh, Proverbs 1, 22. How long will you simple ones? Will you love simplicity? How long will you love simplicity, man? And the people of this world are under a simple vibe because of why the ruler. What's that in Sirach the 10th chapter? As is the, the ruler. Get that? Because an unwise, unwise king destroyed his people. Esau gives you freedom to be anything you want. Be a demon. If you want to glue a beak to your face and fly and, try, and fly off buildings for the rest of your life, you, you have a right to do that. Everybody don't need rights. Okay? People need to be supervised. Be governed. Right? Yeah. Governed. Okay? But the only people the Lord put his instruction in is the Israelites. And, and at the time of Adam, out of all of the families on the earth, the family of Adam was chosen to give in those ways. Not everybody, so that family line threw sense because Abel was screwed all the way up to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and their offspring were the ones that would, would, would uplift that way on the planet Earth, man. And that's what we're coming back to, you know? Sirach so 10 and 1. A wise judge will instruct his people. A wise judge will instruct his people. When we get in the kingdom, you ain't going to see a uh, sin promoted. Right. right. We're going to tell the nations, no, you can't eat like this. No. You, this is sex, a man and a woman. Right. You don't have sex with this animal. The, the, this, part, this particular animal goes on this part of the earth. You don't use this seed in this situation. You use that seed. Okay? The first fruits of what you have, you give that to us. 
Okay? And that's how the system is going to go. As long as you follow our ways, hey, you'll just be able to coexist. Mm -hmm. Outside of you Edomites, because you're going to be utterly obliterated, man. Okay? Go ahead. Go ahead. It says, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. The government of a prudent man is well ordered. Look at the government of this world. Okay? You got a bunch of yellow teeth. Hair, hairy back crackers right. in suits <laughs> standing up and telling you madness, but they, but, but, but he, he has a high IQ, but he doesn't know not to have sex with a, with a, with a two-year-old, with, with a pig. He doesn't know that it's not wise to promote swine, all right, uh, uh, to the people to pollute, to pollute the air. That's not wise. Right, right. So he's an unfit ruler. How is cancer the, the, the number one killer and abortion the number one killer? amongst people in, in a righteous kingdom. Mm -hmm. Boy, hey, you know what abortion? We were in uh, St. Louis, a brother looked it up. They have uh, like 125,000 a day. Mm -hmm. That's a lot over the whole world. That's a lot, man. That's all over the East Side Road is murder. It's mass murder. That's genocide when they call it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Now you can killing cities. They just passed a law where you can do it up to uh, 12 months. Before or something like that? Nah, they can still know. Yeah, thing. you can just kill him. Yeah, he's like, he already. This nigga got a mustache. Yeah. <laughs> he got it. Yeah, he got it. Yeah, it's always in there. Mustache. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, yeah. The, and that's against the laws of the Bible. That's sad. They were born there seven, 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 six months yep. ago. Yep. 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 It's the spirit inside of it. Yeah. You know? So it's a living. It's, it's a living being. From the point that the, the seed and the egg, you know? Go ahead. It said, uh, Sirach 10 or 2. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. So are his officers. And the officers and the people of this world follow after the ruler of this world. That's why everybody's childish, mm -hmm. and people just really just destroy themselves as a, as a means of survival. Mm -hmm. Okay? <laughs> Go ahead. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all that they that dwell therein. <laughs> So you got a city ran by a fool, you're going to have foolish people in there. That's right. right. You have a city ran by a wise man, you're going to have wise people in there. Right. You know? You got a city ran by a murderer, which is, look, we have, this, this, America is a city ran by murderers, man. All these right. people are murderers. Look what we have. It's a game full of murderers, man. Slave control murdering everybody. They murder they. So it ain't, ain't no, ain't no uh, wisdom in this place. Right. That's right. That's right. That's this guy. Yeah, this, this guy, guy right here. Right. Right. It's perfect spell. <laughs> right. Hey, we these you two see, criminals. What happens in the earth is that we've identified the fugitive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And we're testifying against the fugitive. Right. Now, usually, people who testify against somebody who does did something, they're they're able to be their, their, their faces blurred out, their voices are altered. So we're witnessing and testifying against the fugitive to his face. So so that makes us a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. yep. You see? Go ahead, brother, some more. Right. It said, verse 3, Sirach 10 and 3, an unwise king destroys his people, Dang. but through, through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be in heaven. Through the prudence. All right? Prudence, man. A man who looks well to his going. Okay? In the, in the rulers of this world, Clearly, don't they, they wake up thinking about how can they destroy every goddamn thing? They're not waking up saying, "What can we use naturally that'll take away sickness?" It's like you got Wi-Fi. There's natural ways to have Wi-Fi without destroying people, man. There's natural ways to have electricity without destroying every goddamn thing. Right. Gold should be a standard to be in the water because it deals with your neurological system. So these are the things in the kingdom of heaven that we're going to have to offer that this earth doesn't. Okay, uh, health, man, life. Okay, this is the tree of life right here before you, man. The, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures being implemented on the planet Earth is going to come through Yahweh Shai and the 144,000. Right. Right. Okay, right. the throne of David. All right? Some more? <laughs> no, one more verse. Yep. It said, the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. Right. And in due time, he was set over it. One that is profitable. One that is profitable. The ruler right now is not profitable. Right. right. Okay, jump to verse 10. Right. Real quick. Verse 10 says, uh, oh, the physician <laughs> cut it off a long disease. He's going to come with healing in his wings. That's right. <laughs> so the true physician is Yahweh Shai. But right. under him, 
the, the, the physicians are that heavenly host of men, the 144,000. That's the tabernacle of David. And that's why we're going to push that vibration out continuously. I say 144 every, every video at least three, four times. I'm always talking about the 144,000, man. Because that's the, that's the only hope, all right, for the earth. And, and if I have to come back through one of them men, I'll I'm still an Israelite, but Lord willing, we, we make that, uh, uh, we're under that first dominion, man. Right. To actually establish the righteousness on the earth, under Yahweh be, 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 be responsible for life being restored to the earth, man. Uh -huh. That's that's what we're here. That's what we're doing. Right. Just like you said earlier. Yes. In the beginning. In the beginning. <laughs> right. Because it took seven days for this whole beautiful vessel to be created. Okay. And then when we get in the kingdom, it said they reign with Hamashiach a thousand years. So it's going to take one day for, for us to implement everything back into its righteous order. And then you Edomites have no part. You're going to get evicted. The only part. Eviction is coming for you Edomites right. out of the garden. Man. You have no part in the garden, homie. Right. Go ahead, brother. Come on. Uh, it says, uh, and he that is to, and he that is today a king, to, start on, to, start oh, start on. Right yep. Uh, Sirach 10 and 10. The physician cut it off a long disease, mm -hmm. and he that is today a king, tomorrow shall die. Right. So he, the Lord is coming to cut out disease. And see, you don't pity pat with cancer, and that's how you people want us to be with wickedness. You want us to pity pat with wickedness. Well, no, it's not that bad. No, our people are being destroyed for a lack of knowledge all throughout the four corners of the earth. You're being devoured by what? Your leaders and the different people that the so-called white man setting up for you. Right. You think that the, the man who brought you over here on slave ships and, and subjugated you to the worst conditions talks about you like a dog all day on TV is going gonna, is gonna to tell you who you truly are, man? And, and give you a leader that is actually going to benefit you? No. Okay, the true leaders of your nation is going to be the prophets, man. Right. What's that, uh, Jeremiah 15 and 3? Yeah. And you brothers want to, you know, get in, you know? Jeremiah 15 and 3. Uh, 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 I, I, I will give you passes according to my heart. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 14. Turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord. Turn, turn back to the Lord, man. And our people look at us like we're crazy. Mm -hmm. But they have tattoos all over their face. Right. They're homosexuals. <laughs> okay, they, they, they don't know who they are. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we look at you the same way. That's right. Okay? You're those are creeping things and abominable things that were saw by on the sheep. That's right. You know? That's right. <laughs> and, and, and we were that, but we're coming back. Go ahead. Gone. Turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you, right. and I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. Uh -huh. And I will give you pastors according to my heart. I will give you pastors according to my heart. Right. According yes, right. to the mind of the Heavenly Father, which is why people can't really get with this message, because it's not of this world. That's right. This is a council that has been sent from on high. That's right. That's a, so we, we bring out particular things. It comes from a whole different vibration. That's right. That's right. right. We go into the laws, and we, we'll show you that if particular if these laws were implemented today, you'd be like, whoa! Mm -hmm. A woman come between two men fighting and hit the, her, you know, she hit him in the stones. Boot. Get off my boot! Right. Ah, hit him in the nuts. Got her it. hand gets chopped off. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. According to the Bible. That's right. Why? So that fear can be. Put in, in, in women need to stand there. Order it. Right? Yeah. So, so these things are implemented for order. Be right. Right. <laughs> so well, we're we're coming to tell you the the mind of your Halabashi Yahushai. Because in these churches, the, 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 the Lord the, has been uh, uh, downplayed, dumbed down. It's like a very, when people think of God, they think of weakness and, mm -hmm. you know, oh, man. Oh, you can't be like that. Hey, man, come on now. Everything that you see happening on the planet Earth was ordained by Yahweh Mashiach Yahweh Shah. That's right. Uh, <laughs> uh, with that uh, word, uh, heart. Yep. Uh, and uh, I think you pass them according to my heart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll say one of the, uh, one of the definitions. It says uh, inclination, resolution, determination, mind, knowledge, thinking, right. reflection, memory. Right. You know what I'm saying? Passes according to... The most high is memory, his thinking, his, right. you know what I'm saying, his will. So I'm going to a, a, a small group of men that was given that gift. Right, right, See? right. So right. He, 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 he actually 
that remnant that we always speak of, that remnant that the scriptures go into, man. They have that mind of the Lord. That's right. Right. And we get it. That's why we're not offended by the things that are written in this book. Right. Man. You people hear particular things and you don't, you, they still talking about particular things that rubbed them the wrong way that we brought out in the Bible. That's right. But like marriageable age according to the Bible. Right. People lose their damn mind. People who are supposed to be Afrocentric. But when you go to marriageable age in Egypt, it was, it was 13, 14, 15. Right. Yeah. But these are the same people who say, oh my God, how can they say that? Niggas are just confused, man. Right. But see, get that in Jeremiah uh, uh, 6 and 16. Okay. Uh, 18 Jeremiah 6 and 16. Okay. Jeremiah 6 and 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeremiah 6 and 16. It says, uh, Thus said the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see, and ask for the old path. Ask for the old path. All right? So that you won't slip up and do the same thing that our forefathers did in wickedness. Right? A lot of them. Okay? No, you will know that you have enemies by what? Seeking to the past, man. Go ahead. Right. Where is the good way and walk therein? Right. And you shall find rest for your soul. And the reason that our people don't find rest for their souls is because they're anti messiah mm -hmm. So when we bring out the scriptures, you got a problem with it. But the so-called white man can tell you, you came from monkeys. He can tell you the earth is billions of trillions of years old. He can tell you, you can eat this and that. He can take your goddamn gallbladder out. He can do all of these different things. And you don't question not one thing he says. Nothing, man. You ain't question nothing that this man says. But as soon as the Israelites stand up and say they're the Israelites, everybody got a goddamn video. So, so to hell with you niggas, man. Right. right. Go ahead. All right. And you shall find rest for your soul. Right. But they said we will not walk therein. We will not walk therein. We're going to vote. Nipsey Hussle. Yeah, Tupac. Okay, and all of the rest of these people who, who, who didn't, in the grand scheme of things, yeah, they were talented. All Jake has talent. Esau takes the most talented people Thank and tur turns them into pure demons because they have that influence. Right. Yep. To, to get you to go off the path. If you follow Tupac, literally, what do you believe in? You're a walking contradiction. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an educated thug. Thug really means this and that. And Caluminati and, you know, uh, you know, and, and toss it up. I'm going to ride on my enemies. Yeah. All you motherfuckers, I fucked your wife. Oh, and you know it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a poet and you know that's Jerome Rome. I'm a poet and you know it. Yeah, so so you 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 literally your leaders are, are making you a walking contradiction. You don't know what the hell you believe in. You don't make sense. Okay? Go ahead. Right. It says uh verse 17. Also I said Washington over you. Said, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said we will not hearken. We ain't gonna hearken to that. You, you, you got our people are the only ones literally holding America together. Even lower level Edomites see that this place is done. But you niggas, you believe that in, in 2090, all right, <laughs> America still will still be around. Man. You're not looking forward to you. You, you so goddamn happy. Nipsey Russell told you. To, to own your own businesses and work within each other, but we can't tell you that you finna own the earth. The earth is our possession, right? Not a goddamn building on the earth. That's not a goddamn business on the earth. What is true money? True money is what the Lord created out of the earth. Man, out of the Shemayim, out of the waters, the elements, right? He used all of these things and, and through His right hand, all right. Which, which ha what happens to be Yahweh Shai and the Holy Host. And he created what you see before you, mountains. Right. You got water, you got the sun, you got the moon. You, you don't want to listen to that power, but a nigga on the earth who, who, who tells you a little something that's decent here and there, you ready to put him up as, as, as the as, God of the, uh, of the damn, <laughs> you know? Put him up as that prophet. Right. They <laughs> poor righteous I teachers. <laughs> it said, therefore, hear ye nations and know, O congregation, what is among them. 
Here on earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people, yep. even the fruit of their thoughts. Even the fruit of their thoughts. So right now we're living in a time where the Lord is preparing serious judgment on the earth. Wow. Yeah, and your enemy is tired of your ass. That's right. If you if you look at the state of Esau and Edom, they're divided, but they're also like, look, we're tired of hiding how we feel about these niggas. These low IQ subhuman, all right, uh, uh, two, three, they're not even human. And they, and they have an opinion. Right. So, so Esau is about to start destroying you, and you're going to blame us. Mm -hmm. But no, it's, it's, it's because of prophecy that you're about to get your ass rolled on. That's right. Hey, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah is going to ride on the enemy. Right, right. right. Okay? And he you got niggas have been groomed to be enemies of the, of the Lord and His Son mm -hmm. and His system. So idols, man. You've become an anti messiah That's right. To where the point, you see righteousness, and you got to make a video. Now this is this platform got cr black Christians all into the Bible now. They go into the Greek, the Hebrew, the blue letter. Well, four years ago you were eating Fruity Loops, being a goddamn demon, man. Sticking up the field then, yeah. sticking up the field now. Right. Mm -hmm. You ain't been shit since you was born. Right. But now all of a sudden you see us and you got morals and standards and this is right. too much. Right. Go ahead, brother. Huh. It says uh. Verse 19 again, here on earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not hearkened unto my words, right. nor to my law, but rejected it. They rejected it. And when they walk by us, they be saying shit, they had these stupid ass niggas. Ugh. And see, what Jake is going to start doing on the large scale is saying, y'all the reason they shooting us down. Mm -hmm. It's y'all that's the reason that they... Like Esau ain't hated your ass since you brought over here. Right. And since he floated over here to get your ass. He hates your ass so much that he floated on a whole journey to come over here and beat your ass. Right. <laughs> nigga, float over here to beat your ass? Right. That's serious. That's bro. some ancient hate. Right. That nigga mad at you. <laughs> we'll float, we'll float right. over here. Let's keep each other in shit. He's an ancient hey, that's real. Some of them died off on the journey. <laughs> but why did he have Hebrew interpreters? Why did Christopher Columbus have Hebrew interpreters, man? Because he knew he was coming to greet the, the children of the Lord with the sword. <laughs> Go ahead. Right. It says, right. To what purpose cometh there to me incense from Sheba? And a sweet came from a far country, your burnt offerings are not acceptable, nor your sacrifices sweet unto me. Yeah, the Lord ain't uh, happy with the sacrifice of the nigga, man. Okay? This is the sacrifice that the Lord is pleased with, man. Hey, and it's good, because even if you die doing this work, you'll be in the spirit world doing the same thing you're doing right now. Crying to the Lord. All of the souls of the righteous are under the altar in the heavens. Get that. Get that in Revelation 6 chapter. We were created to do this, man. And then, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. This is a quick one. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 4. Now it says, I'm going to start at verse 3. It says, A people that provoke me to anger continually to my face. And this is Israelite. Man. These are Israelites. All right, two thirds of our own people. And a lot of these people that this, you read about this right here, you can apply this to those demons over there in, in, that, in that Christian church. In my state, man. All right. And when I continue, it says, Which walked within a way that was not good after their own thoughts. Because lo and behold, you got the man of the Lord out here prophesying, telling you what's good, what to eat, what not to eat, how to handle yourself and how not to handle yourself. But you got these people over in the Christian church that'll say, no, you can do anything you want to because you're going to be forgiven for it at the end of the day. When lo and behold, that goes back to worshiping other deities, man. Do what thou wilt. That goes back to Aleister Crowley. But our people are the main ones that subscribe within that folly and within that wickedness, man. Right. All right. When you continue, it says in verse, verse 3, a people, I'm sorry, uh, verse 4, it says, which remain, uh, I'm sorry, this is the end of verse 3. It says that sacrificing gardens and burning incense upon altars of brick. All right, now we out here on the highways and byways preaching, this is likened unto incense burning. All right, you read that in the book of Isaiah, the 19th chapter, where this is the altar that we're on, and we represent the sacrifice. And when you put that animal, that goat, or that bullock on the altar, what happens? That fire, the smoke, race up to the Lord, and he smells that smell, and what does he say? This is a sweet savor unto me, man. But you look at two-thirds of our own people in the churches, uh, it's a stench, right? That's right. And a bad stench leads, leads to you, your vibration is lower. You, you get it. 
You know, when, right. you, when you when you hear a, a, a fucked up sound mm -hmm. or, or, or taste something messed up, it throws your, your vibration up. That's right. right. That's right. This is the true music right here. Mm -hmm. Right. This is the sweet savor. This is the new song. That's right. We're, the, we're, the, we're David's choir. Those priests who were uh, uh, elected mm -hmm. and set to sing those hymns and songs, that's us singing that new song under the order of Melchizedek. That's, that's right. right. Come on, verse 4. Which remain among the graves and lodge in the monuments which eat swine's flesh and broth of abominable things in their vessels. <laughs> it was that sound like, man. That's plain. Man, Jake ain't no different than back then. Right. All right? The same right. exact thing who eat that swine's flesh, man. Right, right. All right, that's two-thirds of our own people. And then when you tell them, we, hey, this brother myself was talking about this earlier. When you look at it, Jake, and you tell them, nah, I don't need no pork, they look at you like you got it like you a like, right. like, like you're wicked. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But that's right. because of that mind state that Esau had put. Swine this, swine that. They was, they was actually offering swine's flesh around the time of Antiochus when he came to siege the temple, man. And that mentality stayed with Jacob. All right? When you continue, it says, which say, stand by thyself. Come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. All right? And that's the mind state, especially when it comes to you church, Jakes, man. Can't nobody tell you yeah. nothing. You hold it or not. That's that Alton, that's that Elton, that uh, Alton Johnson spirit. Mm -hmm. All right, you tell them what's what's right within the scriptures, and he'll well, that's wrong. Let's go to this. No, man, we're telling you the good, the bad, and the ugly that the scriptures pro provides. But Christians don't want to go into this. Jake don't want to hear no judgment, man. But check this out. The end of it says, "These are smoking my nose, a fire that burneth all day." And when you smell, uh, when the smoke is in your nose, for example. There's incense burning, you smell it, it's a very pleasant smell on you. Mm -hmm. When somebody's cooking in your home, uh, smoking lamb or whatever, you ain't just in there like, woo, that's an inviting smell. All right, but let's say, for example, somebody's smoking cigarettes beside you, or you smoking weed, which a lot of us used to do in the world, but what happens when you inhale it? You cough, you know, what happens when you cough? That means your body's rejecting that smoke that goes into you. You know, that's how the Lord is likening your whack-ass sacrifice. Right. That whack-ass pulpit that you own. Christmas, all that, man. Wow. And Jake is still up there doing it and think they're going to be blessed for it, man. But when that judgment rains down and they wonder why they can't eat in that day, and we told you why, hey, man, we're going to laugh at it as the scripture said earlier, man. Right. right. You know, that was it, man. Okay. We're going to be able to tell, tell, tell you I told you so. That's right. 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 Yeah. Um, Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1. Go to the rebellious children, said the Lord. They take counsel, but not of me. Right, they take counsel, but not of me. And Esau is a mastermind. Just now, just the other day, I saw there's a gay first woman Chicago uh, mayor. First female. She's a first female first and first gay. All right, mayor of Chicago. Black female. <laughs> okay. So, so, so that sets you up to really commit fornication against the law. First off, you're following a faggot. All right, and a woman. Right. And they ain't talking about the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead. But not of me. To take, to take counsel, but not of me. You cover uh, uh, with the covering, but not of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. Like in a, in a garden, Adam, they say they, they, they put aprons around. I forget. Uh, they covered themselves. They were covering themselves in what? Of the philosophy. That's right. right. That's right. That's right. And that's what you niggas have as a as a uh, as a uh, protection. What it offers no, uh, it's, it's, it's no protection in these it's days. The other. Okay, if you a, if you a Christian, what is what is your protection in these days? You're not talking about what's happening on earth. Right. Jesus. It's just Jesus. Right. Jesus. He's over the Most High. Well, he is the Most High in some of uh, the Christians. Right. You know. So go ahead. It says, um, "They take counsel, but not of me." And that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. Right. See, we are the true counselors of the earth. Uh, we the yeah. ones who set up to tell people this is how you should live. That was the job of a priest. The priest would commune with the Lord, and the Lord would tell him what to go tell Israel. <laughs> so that same setup is happening right here and right now, man. But you don't but you see us because we look just like you, and it's a problem. Mm-hmm. You see? Go ahead. Um, that they may add sin to sin. They walk down to go into Egypt and have not asked at my mind. Right. You're going back up to Egypt. And your leader is not supposed to take you back into the mind frame of Egypt, man. Because that's rebellion against the Lord, man. Go ahead. It says, 
to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. Right, you strengthen yourselves in the strength of this world. You don't strengthen yourself spiritually, because it's going to take spirituality to get us out of this situation. We're not going to get out of this situation with anything carnal, with a right. gun, a bank. The problem with you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans is not anything of this world. It's your spirits. Mm -hmm. And see, the true teachers of the Lord are set up to get your spirit right. Mm -hmm. And what is the first way that you get your spirit right? Through fear of the Lord. Yep. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Right. So if you don't have the fear of the Lord, you walk around the world, you suspect you get eat up, eaten up by any sort of demon. Mm -hmm. And our people are proud as hell, and they go out into this world, and they get ate up. Right. right. Chewed up and spit out. Right. But, well, if you follow the scriptures, our forefathers told us, don't trust your enemy, nigga. Mm -hmm. Right. Don't yeah. set him by you. Don't make no covenant with him. Right. Set thee not by a rich man. Right. Scriptures warn. You know who that would have saved? A whole lot of niggas mm -hmm. in Hollywood. Yeah. Oh, God. That's right. If they, if they would have followed the wisdom of the Bible, they wouldn't be bending over, getting shoved up the ass, man. Right. Mm -hmm. Performing rituals. God. Every other week, uh, his such and such cousin died. Right. Well, what, what do you think this is all about? Serena Williams. Right. Shaquille O'Neal. Michael Jordan. Jay Z, Kevin Durant, all of these niggas are, uh, have sacrificed somebody. Uh, yep. Just as the Lord requires a sacrifice, the Satan Satan requires Satan. a sacrifice. Right, right. right. See, but Satan sacrifices for the people. It's mm -hmm. running out. That's it. Right. Go ahead. It's an answer stressed in the shadow of Egypt, shadow of Egypt, which is America, man. Therefore, yeah. therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Yeah. And the trust of Shlakia. Like and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, right. you're confused. Right. You, you believe in that the earth is billions of years old. You believe in that you came from monkeys. But we're going to see how when you how about Shemiel Shai reigns supreme on the earth. Right. Where is that going to get you? Right. And you're going to be looking for us. Best believe when stuff starts to happen on the earth, brothers, you're going to see Jake right looking, you know, tell yeah. me, you know, man, I've been watching. Spit, spit on the spit mm -hmm. on the corner of my I've been right. watching y'all, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, never, never do. Yeah. yeah. You know, but some of them are going to repent. It's going to take certain things for Jake to see. Right. To, it's just how Jake is. I got to right. shake him up. Because right now, you got believers watching, but they just watch it for entertainment. Mm -hmm. right. But when they start to see these prophecies come up, they go, oh, shit. Let me get out there, man. You know, yeah, man. Yep. Here's $10. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God, <laughs> hey, because if you give the prophet a reward, you receive a prophet's reward. That's right. That's right. So you people better get your minds right with the leaders of your nation. Okay? And stop talking shit. <laughs> Man. Okay. Uh, Revelation chapter 6. Right, because basically we're a sacrifice, brothers. Okay? Uh, uh, what's that? Uh, uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the third chapter? Start yeah. at 1. Go ahead. And when he had opened up the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of the Most High. And when were the souls that were slain for that word chosen? To the foundation of the earth. So just as there's a priesthood in the in the heavens, there's an altar. Yep. What's under that altar? Those souls. The souls of those men to be living sacrifices, the first fruits of the Lord's chosen of the spirits, man. That's right. And that starts with Yahweh. That's right. Then you have the 144,000. Those souls, when they die, they're always back under that altar. You see? God. You gonna say something? Just a quick point going yeah. into that, yeah. and you see how, as the elder has stated beautifully, going into how this is all plays out in the heavens, right. it was mimicked to a carnal fashion on the earth when, right. the, when the priesthood was given unto us. When the scriptures talk about those, the souls of the men that were under the altar, when you slain a goat or a lamb or something like that, you would sprinkle the blood at the bottom of the altar. Right. Because there's life that's in that blood, man. You know what I'm saying? So as we're made that sacrifice, and a lot of our, our, our fallen brothers, a lot of our fallen brothers, our souls that are under the altar, that's like unto the blood under the altar on this side, man. Right. Because they were slain for the word of the Lord. That's right. the scripture saying. So there's no way to lose if you are the elect. Right. right. Because whether you die here right now, it all matters when your Yahweh shall return. That's, that's right. That's judgment that matters. Gone. Right? All of the stuff that happens here is just a part of the story. That's right. But, but who you are and, and what spirit you in is going to be determined by that return. Yeah. And either you're going to be delivered or you're going to be through. Mm-hmm. If you're an Israelite. You That's know? right. That's right. Uh, keep, keep reading this. Right. All right. 
and for the testimony which they held. All right. Uh, Revelation 69. It says, and when he had opened the fifth seal, right. I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of the Most High right. and for the testimony which they held. <laughs> That's the men. Mm -hmm. Hey, what does it say? They, they, they have the new song. Mm -hmm. There's no gal found in their mouth. Go ahead. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, <laughs> dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? Right. So when we on the earth, we complain against the devil. And when we in the heavens, mm -hmm. we complain against right. the devil, man. Yep. <laughs> so you always uh, are crying unto the Lord. That's just what our spirit is set up to do. Right. We're that sacrifice, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. We're that sacrifice, man. Mm -hmm. We want the will of the Lord to be done, man. Right, right. So it's, it's the will of the Lord for us to be in rulership. Right. That's his will. That's his good pleasure. Right. So we want what he wants. That's right. right. So we crying out for it. Right, right. Get that in uh, Matthew the, the, the 28, or Matthew, what did it say, uh, 28 and 19? Or 12 and 19, where it says, uh, you got to follow me in the regeneration. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah 19. 19. Yeah, that's Matthew 19. That's right. Hey, because none of these philosophies promise us anything, man. What do these philosophies promise? Right. Death. All right, I got you. If you Egyptian, what, 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 do you, what do you, what do you, yeah. Right. What's the, what's the final end all be all? Right. The science. Ah, ah well, what's the other end what? Go ahead. Started uh, 26. It's Matthew 19 and 26. It says, But Yahweh beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with Yahweh all things are possible. Right. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration. Right. When the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory. When the Son of Man shall sit on the throne of his glory. And what's promised to the Son of Man? The heathen for his inheritance. Mm -hmm. The fatness of the earth. Yep. Right. The dew of, <laughs> of heaven. Right. We're joined elders under him. And, and we're going to receive that promise as well, man. That's right. That's right. All right. Go ahead. He also shall sit upon 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Ooh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And like we were saying, that that if all Israel gonna be righteous in the kingdom, when is that gonna take place? Right. right. You gonna be at the forefront of judgment under uh Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right, who says you uh, loose, you loose? Who says you bound, you bound. Bring them, uh, all right. And what 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 channel what channel will brother stream a live on? GMS on the go. GMS on the we on GMS on the go live as well. My phone about to die, you know, but go ahead. Uh, on the go, no. Right. Oh, yeah. And GMS get your mind right, you know. So when this stream cuts off, GMS on the go, or GMS get your mind right, all right. Great. It's, uh, Matthew 19 and 29, and everyone that forsaken houses or brethren, right? Houses. If you forsake a house, if you forsake a brother, your Because we have particular people in this world that we were cool with, right? But this truth sort of separates you from them. Mm -hmm. right? You know that soul, you're gonna receive it back. Right. Mm -hmm. You're gonna somehow link back with with the with your with, uh, in this life that we your parents. Who mm -hmm. knows? You could be their parents in the spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, you, all of these people that may not make it that you were cool with. You know what I'm saying? And that this word sort of says, hey, you're gonna receive that back. Right. Mm -hmm. So you forsake brethren, you forsake houses. Go ahead. Or sisters. Or, sisters or father uh -huh. or mother uh -huh. or wife uh -huh. or children uh -huh. or wife <laughs> or children uh -huh. go ahead or lands or lands these things are uh, uh, clearly on the earth for my name's sake shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life you receive those things that you gave up a hundredfold right which happens to be wives which happens to be children then it's going to be a man's book right then that song is going to have meaning. <laughs> and we going to have a whole new song version of it. Hey, you, you know, the, the music is going to be restored to its rightful order, man. Right. It's going to be a new shot. We, we come to, basically the property here is a pro party over. We're slapping over mm -hmm. cups. That's right. We're turning off the speaker. <laughs> All right. Turn the light on. It's over. Turn that shit off. Yeah. Slapping people 40 now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
get them niggas up. You know, yeah. Spraying water on people. That's what we're doing that's through true. the Holy Spirit. Yep, right, right. yep. Because party is up and over for wickedness. Right, that's right. Man, that's right. That's right. But many that are first shall be last, right. and the last shall be first. Right. That's it on that. That's it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. Yeah, Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. Mm -hmm. That's what, see, that's what's coming, man. That's what's coming. The Lord is bringing judgment to the earth, man. Right. You see, it's just like we've been talking about how we are introducing the world 